Hello everyone, today it's time for a pretty interesting video. So we're going to talk about the biggest low pressure sodium bulb ever made, I think, which is the uh, 131 watt SOX bulb. So you also have the 181 SOX, but those are the same size uh, as the 131 watt version. And this is the bulb right here, but it is the best I think to move the camera a little bit so you can see the actual size of this massive lamp and for a bulb it's also quite heavy I mean still it's not a kilo or anything but it's a few hundred grams um, a lot of glass as you can see so it's pretty much the same as every low pressure sodium bulb you have these two filaments then a giant tube with sodium in it then here we have the top so you can recognize the uh, E version, so the SOX E version from the SOX with the uh, top, with the normal version, so the 180 watt version has a uh, pointy top and this one has more of a round top. But I actually don't uh, know for sure if that counts for the uh, biggest version of the bulb. But as you can see here with the 66 watt version, which is the E version, so a more energy efficient version, it has a round top and then the 90 watt version has the pointy top and also the bases can be different depending on what year the bulb is from so you have the black one for the uh, energy efficient version and then the uh, standard red one for the normal socks it is quite hard to show you the actual size of the bulb but right here is a 18 watt socks on the left and then we have the massive 131 watt socks bulb which is quite the difference these bulbs were very common in uh, street lighting especially for highways the highway of especially belgium uh, used to be full of uh, those bulbs they would run in these kinds of fixtures or in the gso that's behind there and the, the they are the bulbs that start with the red color and then turn orange these bulbs actually do need gear, so it's not like an incandescent bulb, you can just screw it in a socket and then it will work. Nope, you need this type of gear. So we have this giant block, a very heavy block as well, which this is probably like 5 kilos or something. And this is basically the ballast, and it has everything in it uh, to start the bulb. Apart from the capacitor, that's a separate thing, because these uh, often break. So you don't need to replace the entire ballast, you can just uh, replace the capacitor. These uh, often fail. This definitely uh, seems like a newer type compared to the ballast itself. And then here we have the socket which also has a special uh, socket. And let's actually wait uh, for it to turn dark and then we can uh, turn the bulb on outside to uh, take a look at how much light there's actually coming from this bulb. Alright, so it is night. It's also quite cold, it's uh, minus 5 degrees Celsius and let's make the uh, low pressure sodium bulb start up. Alright so it's on as you can see, it's a very nice, very deep kind of pinkish red color. And it's already quite bright as you can see. It looks absolutely amazing.
30 lamp is uh, warmed up as you can see it's turned orange and the incredible thing about these low pressure sodium bulbs is how far the light actually reaches of the bulb so you can see that the entire side of the house right here is also turning orange and it's reaching quite far here as well and if we walk a little bit further into the garden you can actually see the incredible amount of light that this bulb provides and these bulbs also don't get that hot compared to most of the other bulbs like this because it actually doesn't even melt the ice underneath as you can see you can actually still touch the bulb I mean I'm not going to do it touch it since it's balancing balancing on this small <laughs> socket right here but still these don't really get that hot compared to uh, most other bulbs <laughs> just look at it it's absolutely stunning but yeah thanks a lot uh, to James for providing me with the equipment and the bulbs I'm very happy to finally have gear and some spare 131 watt uh, low pressure sodium bulbs I'll put this Instagram in the description and thanks a lot for watching let me know what you think about the low pressure sodium bulbs and see you in the next video